and welcome PML fans. I am your host and head admin of PML Joe Zamora here and I am bringing you a coach's interview with the Chibi Chews coach, Jennifer. Hey everybody, it's Jen. Nice to be here. <laughs> All right, Jennifer, uh, what is your draft history? Uh, <laughs> zero really. I'm a total noob when it comes to this. Um, I participated as a fill-in for another draft league, so I've never, ever drafted my own Pokemon before, so it's going to be a really amazing experience for me. Okay. Well, the good thing is about PML, it's uh, it's pretty uh, set up for newcomers and uh, experienced people alike, so I think you'll transition pretty well. Um, what made you choose your logo? Um... Well, <laughs> I love chibis. I love, like, all the drawings of, like, cute little Pokemon, and I know it's cliche, but I absolutely love Pikachu. Pikachu is just everything, and so then I saw it, and I was like, uh, I really want to roll with it, so, yeah, I just put a little razzle-dazzle on it, and there was my logo, Chibi Chews. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> would you ever consider changing your logo? Um, Honestly... Not really. I think it pretty much encompasses my entire personality. I'm just just cute and giggly and crazy at the same time, so it's just perfect. Yeah, everyone, <laughs> everyone else has been saying the same. I, I just threw that in there to get the wheels grinding on you guys. <laughs> so um, how do you feel uh, PML draft will be for you since you haven't done any other drafts? Well, honestly, like I said, I've been working on... Um, the type of team that I want. Like I said, because I lack so much knowledge, just basic knowledge of certain Pokemon, I have to like learn who they are and what they do and, um, and how they'll mesh, mesh well with the Pokemon that I do know. And I have like the most amazing nicknames for my Pokemon. So like I never call them really what they are. So like Arcanine, like I call them Mihawk. It's like my second favorite. <laughs> so like I like think about just like what's going to work the best. And I have like, a super, I call him my sensei. He's a, uh, he's um, my friend, and he just helps me out so much with, um, you know, strategies and trying to understand like um, the different natures of Pokemon and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to, to taking what I have, the knowledge that I have, and making a team that's just gonna like conquer everyone. Yeah, I can see that, and um, <laughs> I also see uh, you're third to last in the draft. But obviously, this is a snake format, so you'll end up getting the third pick later. But uh, for your number one pick, who are you hoping to fall to you? Man, listen, I really wish and I hope and I pray. Like, I really do wish that I could get, um, like, I the mean, only thing I've been thinking about really was the first tier. Um, so, like, <sighs> I really wish I could get extra, extra drill. Like I call him Digger. I want Digger so bad. Like when I think, like I want him so bad. That's like my go-to Pokemon. Like he's everything. Like he encompasses everything that I want. Because it's so funny. Like when it comes to weather Pokemon, so that I can only really, I've only dealt with a lot of sand Pokemon. So I'm just like, dude, give me some dirt, and I'm pretty sure I can make it. I got you. Yeah, extra drill can even set up sand for himself. The Dynamaxing and all. So. Exactly. He's oh, definitely yeah. a threat. Yes, that's what I hope I can get. And like I said, I'm still, you know, just I'm just mulling around just the different Pokemon that'll that'll be able to support him if I can get him. But yeah, I got a lot of work to do. Okay, so um, how have you been feeling about the tiers? I know they're different than most drafts. I'm sure uh, you've looked around the tiers in the draft you had to fill in for. Um, I think like I said, I think it's really really interesting. Like I said, it's it's it's, it's simplistic. I mean, like some Pokemon who I think should be like in a different tier, like they're not. Like it's just it's it's, it's I don't know. It really is simplistic. I mean, it allows you to it allows me to really look at what I need um, in a better way. Like I don't know if that makes sense, but it's 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 not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay. Uh, is there a Pokemon you would move down and a Pokemon you would move up? Hmm. Is there a Pokebot I would move down and a Pokebot I would move up? Well, dang. Now I gotta think about that. <laughs> well, well, I do. Like, I'm like, hold on, wait a second. Let me, let me try to kind of see the tears. I gotta remember. Hold on. Yeah, I know. Because mm. you've been pretty much focused on that first pick. Right. <laughs> right. Like I said, I haven't had the time to really um 
Hmm. I honestly, I'm not sure. I would really just have to look at my at, look at the uh, at the tears again to see if there's anybody I'd switch around. Okay, no problem. Um, what is your favorite battle strategy? Um, for me, what I really like to do, I really love to um. Like, I, I know a lot of people like hazards, but I like status elements quite a bit. Like, um, with uh, Chandelure, who I call Gloomy Air. Like, I, <laughs> I would so love to, like, because at one point, like, I had um, I had Weezing, and I call them Poots. But I yeah. would, like, you know, toxic somebody, and then, like, I would come in with Chandelure, and I would just, like, hex them, and, like, it really did work for me, like, quite a bit. So I really do like status elements and being able to, you know, um, do some really good damage with stat status elements. Okay, so kind of like take advantage of uh, a Pokemon when they're down. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Snipe them. Sounds evil when you say it like that, but you know. I know, right? Um, is there a specific Mon you're trying to get to help your strategy out? Um, I really do think that I want, I would like to have, um, I can't remember. Toga Kids is tier one, yeah. So I was wanting potentially to have Toxapex because um, I call him Spiky. Um, I really kind of want Toxapex because like God, he's so bulky and like he came through so many times for me. Um, and I kind of want Serena. I call her Battle Arena, but yeah, I kind of. Kind of want that. Like I just like last time I when I had a, a, a group like it was, it was mostly just like um more offense Pokemon and stuff like that. But I really want I want like a, a good balance of defense and offense. Okay, I got you. And um, you you're throwing out all these awesome nicknames. Do do these just come to you or do you have <laughs> like a theme for it? Honestly, like. I, I commune with my Pokemon, so it sounds so crazy because the very first Pokemon I ever played was Sword and Ship. So, like, when I started playing and I started catching these Pokemon, and I, it's a shame I'm a girl, but I'm so sexist. Like, I literally would not catch <laughs> a girl Pokemon unless it was only a girl. Like, it could only be a girl. So, all of my Pokemon and my Pokedex are like boys, like every last one of them. And so, <laughs> like, whenever I come up with my nicknames, like, I swear, like, I'll, I'll play with them and then we'll go camping and, like, we'll spend so much time time together and then like their name will just come to me like um oh my god what is one of my favorite names like Togo Kiss I call like well I call him Boomy because like he looks like a boomerang so it's like awesome <laughs> and then like um <laughs> and then like uh but my, and what's so funny is like somebody like your your stock Pokemon like the the like your your most famous Pokemon like I really don't have a nickname for them like Charizard will always be Charizard I can't think of him as being anything other than Charizard same thing with like with Pikachu but like um yeah, man, like my nicknames, they do come to me and they're really awesome. Cause like, uh, like, um, Mill Metal, I call them Rock'em Sock'em, like Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Like, yeah. So awesome. <laughs> but yeah, my nicknames are awesome. Yeah, I, I, I personally have a favorite. Charizard's my favorite, and I always like to make them shiny, so I call them The Undertaker. Oh, uh, okay. All right, now. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I always like to nickname my Pokemon something wild and. Sometimes people like them. Sometimes people it goes right over their head. <laughs> I can understand that. Like, what is the one? I can't remember all the names, but the it's uh, it looks like a giant snowflake. Like, is it Cryo? Is Cry what Cryo? Cryogno. Yes, bruh. Have you ever seen Power Rangers? Uh, a long time ago. But oh I my think god! I know but what I call him. About. I call him Zordon because he looks like <laughs> a floating head. Like, <laughs> it's so awesome. That is awesome. That's a good nickname, too. <laughs> well, is there anyone you're looking forward to battling in PML? Actually, um, there is someone who I battled with in the previous league I was in, the development league I was in. And um, God, I can't remember his name, but it's like his, his tag is like Orange Soda. Um, it's like the um, no, Cardiff he's Kamalus. The, he's, yeah, he's the Cardiff Kamalus. Listen. Oh my God, he and I had like battles for like the ages. Like I remember the last battle we had, I almost got him. But I was like, I was sick, like literally sick as a dog. I couldn't focus, but I almost got him. I have got to beat him at least once. Like I have to, like he's totally my rival. I've got to get him. Yeah, he beat me, uh, I think 
three times in the last draft because we battled during the regular season and it got cut short. And then I lost yeah. to him first round or the second round. And then I lost to him in the championship game. So it was just like, oh. Ugh. Yeah, man. I almost got him, but I'm going to get him this time. <laughs> All right. Well, anything else you want to say to the fans before we go? No, I just thank you for the opportunity for letting me be here. Um, like a lot of times I'm the only girl and stuff. So hopefully uh, it'll be a good showing and, and hopefully I'll have a good time. Definitely. Well, we really appreciate you joining as well and uh, showing off this Chibi Choose logo. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me, Joe. Hope you have a good one. All righty. You too. And thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time.